In this class, we'll explore channel channel boolean tool. Channel booleans is a pretty powerful tool, and it can be used to apply a variety of mathematical and logical operation on the channels in an image. Okay, so this tool works uh, by using one image's channels to modify another image's channels. All right. So if the foreground input, let me go ahead and add a color uh, channel booleans. If the foreground uh, node is not available or foreground input is not available, uh, then it's going to use uh, the background for the color channels. Okay. So here we have this famous PAX character. Okay. Let's connect this to the background of channel boolean store. Okay. If you look at the alpha, we have alpha channels stored in this image. So if you want to copy the alpha channels of uh, one image to its own color channels, so you can set the uh, operation to copy and then let me go back to the color view to red copy alpha or background alpha bg to green alpha bg to blue alpha bg and if you preview this now we have copied successfully copied alpha channel into the color channels of of this image okay if you want to create a cutout effect just go ahead and change operation to uh, just a moment change operation to negative okay so we'll get that okay we go ahead and delete that okay you can also use that negative operation to create a negative um, uh, looking effect so let's preview that and uh, set operation to negative all right Let me go ahead and add another channel boolean. Let's change to red to do nothing, to green to do nothing. And I want to copy, I want to add actually, so I'll change mode to add. I want to add the green uh, channel into the blue channel of this image. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and change to blue to green or background so now the green color green channel is added to the uh, to the blue channel all right if you want if you change mode to subtract say it will subtract that color okay so we have operation here more options like add it's gonna add let me go ahead and add a foreground to this uh, on this image this channel boolean okay and now set it to me add another one let's connect to background connect this to foreground preview okay so we can set you can set it to add it will add the colors you can you can subtract you have logical AND and logical OR. What logical AND will do is that uh, it will remove bits from the color channel of the background image and if it is set to OR, logical OR, uh, it will uh, add bits from the uh, uh, bits from the color channel of the background image. Alright, you can also set it to exclusive OR or you can, uh, you can also call it XOR. You have multiply, it will darken your image. Okay, this will give appearance of darkening. If you set it to divide, it will give you appearance of lightning. Okay, you have a solid. So if you disconnect this and connect it with the background, the PAX character. So solid will clear, uh, solid will make the alpha channel opaque. If you look at the alpha channel, it's opaque. And if you set it to clear, it will clear the alpha channel. Okay, let me undo this. If you set the operation to maximum, 
it will compare the two images the background and the foreground and uh, and it will take uh, the darkest value or the minimum value uh, I mean if it is maximum then it will take the brightest value from each image and display here we set it to minimum minimum will compare the two images and take the minimum or the darkest value from each image okay if you set it to minimum likewise we have difference it's like Photoshop, uh, like you do, like uh, in Photoshop, the uh, the the difference blend mode. Okay, it works like that. Now let's talk about the auxiliary auxiliary channels and uh, let me go ahead and add a channel boolean. If you go to auxiliary channels here, we have uh, extra channels, uh, auxiliary channels. So let's talk about the G buffer. If you add a fog tool, deep pixel fog, it relies on the G information, G channel information. Um, it needs G information from this uh, this input, okay? But if you don't have that information, but you have luminous depth pass, like we have here. Let me scroll. Let me find this out. We need this one and just have luminous depth. Okay, I'll load that. Luminous depth. Okay. So if you have luminous depth bars, you can use this pixel information, the grayscale pixel information to generate the G channel. Okay. So what we have to do is load your color background as the background of a channel boolean and this luminous depth pass as foreground. Okay. Here we have to set operations to copy and set green, blue and alpha to do nothing. Enable auxiliary channel and then map to G buffer lightness of the foreground. Okay, because the the luminous depth path is connected to foreground. Now, if you look at the G channel now, so we have the G channel information. So now we can use that G channel information to to place fog behind our elements like that. Okay, and it's in depth. You can set a near plane as well as far plane. All right. Okay, now let's talk about the. Let me get rid of that. Let's talk about the object ID auxiliary channel. So, likewise, you can connect G coverage, UV textures, normal pass. If you have normal pass, you can relight your scene in post. Okay, if you have vector information for motion blur, you can uh, pipe in that to X vector and Y vector. But right now, we'll add one footage I have here. It's called footage.rpf and it's a special format .rpf. You can store object IDs in it. Okay, but if you don't have object ID, um, you can generate one using the channel boolean tool. So let's go ahead and add that channel boolean connected to background. Okay, preview this. Now set operation to copy and set it to do nothing do nothing do nothing enable auxiliary channel and to object ID set red of background okay set it red of background okay now to view that what object ID fusion has, fusion has assigned to it let's go ahead and add this uh, text plus tool to the foreground of our channel boolean and now we'll wrap this uh, uh, wrap this uh, CG Sutra online text on this floor where the color is red. Okay, because we set, uh, we had set uh, object ID to red background. So let's go ahead and a texture tool from deep pixel category. Connect this to the texture tool and connect this text tool to the foreground of this texture tool to the green input. Okay, now switch to this uh, common options this nuclear sign and use object click on use object 
Now, if you click on pick and click on this red area, as you can see, that fax is already wrapped there, and Fusion has assigned object ID 51914 to it. Okay? So let's select this texture tab back again and change the repetition, the U scale on the V scale to 10 each. Okay? So now you can see the text is wrapped where the area is red. Now you can U offset and V offset it to animate the texture. You can swap it. Okay? You can rotate it 90 degrees. You can flip horizontally, flip vertically. You have lots of control over there. It's pretty easy to create an, uh, an object ID as well as the material ID from the uh, uh, by using this uh, channel booleans tool. Okay, one more use I want to show you is where when you're you have two separate images for color and alpha. So basically, it's a cut cut mat or a white mat. You can say that, and it's in different image. It's it's a JPEG. It's a JPEG. So let's use um, channel booleans to generate alpha channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a channel boolean. Connect this uh, color to the background and this one to and this to foreground. Okay, preview that. Set operation to copy. Do nothing for RGB and to alpha set it to lightness of the foreground. Okay, now if you preview. The alpha channel, um, not G, but the alpha. So now we have alpha channel in this image. Pretty cool. Okay, and one last example. I'll show you where's that footage. Mm. Yeah, here we have. It's a simple text over a blue background. So let's generate alpha channel for this. At channel boolean. Simply do nothing for RGB and blue or background to the alpha. Okay. Now we need one other tool called mat control. Insert tool mat mat control. Okay. And set this range the math threshold range to 1 is to 1 so it suddenly disappeared from there if you look at the alpha channel now we have black alpha channel so what we can do we can post multiply the image okay so that we, we get clear image here clear alpha channel so we'll post multiply the image Let's adjust this threshold okay so we'll get the transparency there so we quickly created transparency using this channel boolean and mat control so it's a very powerful tool see uh, this color this channel booleans and I hope uh, uh, you have learned something here